Ah, hi. Um, I've decided to do a service on my little Honda 125 ANF Innova. This morning it's just gone over 5,000 miles, so it looks like it's due for its 5,000 mile service. Um, I've already drained the oil, which was a, a little bit black. And that, for anybody who doesn't know about draining oil, is there is a a nut. I don't know if I can show it. It's under here, just up there. It's got like a bit of a shield in front of it. That's the nut. Undo that one. Um, 16 millimeter socket or spanner. Um, let the oil out into a pan, and there's take your dipstick out so it lets the um, air through. Also, remind you that it's uh, still not full yet. I'm actually going to do a big service on this one, so this is why I put it now on. I drained the oil while it was on the floor on the um, centre stand, but now I've put it onto the uh, bike ramp thing. And uh, oh, there's apparently a strainer on the other side. I finally got myself a Haynes manual for it. <laughs> there's a centrifugal filter in here, and uh, and some sort of strainer as well. So ready to get to that. I've decided that I've had to pull off uh, these, I've taken these bolts out, these are 8mm all around, and the cover for here, so you can get to those two, has to come off, and you have to take the um, gear change lever off as well. But then um, I'm having a bit of trouble just getting this cover off, so I'm going to take, I decided to take all these panels off, and the order in which these come off really is this one first because that clips in under take the screw out of that remove it then this one here the screw out of there and it's and the two screws at the bottom end and then it slides down it's it sort of slots in to these slots here so just slide that back down and lift it out and then the next one to come off is this front one three big screws in there and washers lifted off as you can gather I've already started doing this before I decided to do the video so now I'm down to the side panel and I've got to disconnect the indicators here so I should I could do with one of these head cams Anyway, I'm going to do that, and I'll take these two covers off, and then we'll see what's left afterwards. Okay. Okay, the um, leg shields are off now. I did actually take out the two big bolts at the bottom part, but when it came to taking it off, well, there's apparently there's two more screws at the front, which I should have taken off, and then the two halves would have come off. But as it happens, because I've got the ground clearance, and um, and where the bike is on the stand I was able just to slide it off as one piece so it may not be possible for you so don't forget to take those two screws out you know, underneath so lovely the engine's all accessible now I'll be able to do the tappets and everything later on when it's cooled because uh, it's still warm from running it for to get the oil out and what up right so now I'm going to take that cover off Hopefully, and there's a little bit of a protrusion there, I can give it a little tap with a piece of wood and that will just loosen it. I've already hit it with my rubber mallet, but I haven't got very far with that. I don't want to go mad. This is the first time it's ever been off since noon, and that's seven years ago, so there we go. Okay, here we are. I nearly got called out there. In the Haynes manual, it's talking about removing the clutch cover and it's showing this this cover this side so one naturally assumes that it's this cover of this side so I hadn't got to taking it right off I'd loosened it but then I've um, gone and rechecked again mainly because I couldn't get this there's a, a connector in there for this bit of wire that comes in obviously to the, um, the alternator and um, I've gone and checked again and the clutch is on the other side yippee <laughs> so don't get caught out like that 
So I thought, right, let's go around here and have a look. And there's this wonderful cover here, which says Honda. And I thought, ah, well, maybe we can get to the clutch in through there. So I've taken that off, and lo and behold, there's nothing there. It's just blank. So that's a waste of time. So don't bother on doing that. So that means I've got to take all these um, bolts out round here, which are all eight millimeter by the looks of it. And the kickstart will come off. I'm hoping I won't have to take the exhaust off. I'll put, I might have to take the footrest off by the looks of it. But we'll see. We'll have a go at that. Okay. Okay, so now I've, I've put the bolts back in there. I've just these little um, covers to put back on. But it did occur to me while uh, this is open that it would be a good t um, idea to give it a spray with the chain lube. I mean, it's always quite difficult doing it when it's in the... Um, uh, what you may call it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, just spin that and give it a chain loop. Okay, it looks like I'm having to take the exhaust off um, and probably the um, footrest. So what I'm doing is I've, I've this this bolt here. Take the nut off the other side. 12 millimeter. There's a 12 millimeter bolt here on this bracket, and these two nuts here are 12 millimeter as well. I've just undone those and um, it's all loose now but it's been held up because the um, foot, the uh, back, back brake lever is resting on this um, lift so what I'm going to do is undo the um, footrest bolts while it's in the air then I'll drop it down and just rest it on the side stand and that should let me get it out without too much problem he says, hopefully. Okay. Radio. Yeah. We've um, got the exhaust off and the um, footrest, which were no problem really. There they are. Now I've got all the bolts out. They're all the same size. Worth checking that before you. When you're taking them out, make sure there's no short ones. So you know where they will go back. Now I've got to try and loosen this up. I'm just using my rubber. Just to turn it. happening at the moment. And it's been pretty tight. I'm going to keep tapping it. Oh. Now we're losing an open oh, box. It's okay, it's not new carpet in here, so. We've gone inside. It's 
So, apparently there's a little screen here, which I get some long nose pliers to pop right with. It's up somewhere. Well, it's got a bit of muck on it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh wow, look at that side. So it's doing its job. That was up and down. It seems like it's tapered. It's narrow at one end. That's the end that goes in. Well, it looks like And the um, apparently the uh, centrifugal filter is in here, so let's open that up and have a look. Supposedly not very tight, according to the manual. This is eight millimeter still. Well, I don't know how it filters it. I'll have to go to the Haynes manual and have a look. See what it says. Anyway, I'll give you a close up in here while we're here. And source. Get the things in there. There's a clutch. Gearbox return spring. Kickstart return spring, sorry. Bit of muck on that little thing there. Looks like it's on, that's a brake, I suppose, for the centrifugal clutch. Perhaps. I'll give that a little clean. Right. Now what the Haynes manual says is to clean out this area in here um, with a lint-free cloth and I was going to leave that gasket on there but I can see there's a load of crud behind it so I'm just gently teasing it off so I can use it again I don't want to just using this little pen knife gently just there we go get it off oh yeah there's, there's a load of muck in there as you can see, so it's worth taking that off and um, and to wipe out the inside of this, to wipe out the cover as well. This is actually the inside. So there we are. We'll do that. Okay. Done all the cleaning and whatnot. Now we've got to put these um, bolts back in, and they're saying that you have to have a thread lock stuff, but you mustn't be right to the end. Four millimeters in. So it goes like where it wants to, doesn't it?
Oop. Gums of it coming up. Oh, good one. Looks like this goes on one way. It's a special way. setting for this. I've had to put, take the big bung out the other side and put a 16mm socket on there. And uh, this is the torque wrench, and it's set at uh, 5mm. And you'll see it just. See, just that little clip there? 5 um, newton meters, sorry. And that clip is just right. So if you're just using an ordinary spanner, just use a ring spanner and just nip it up, I would say. Just tighten it a little bit and you should be okay. Right, the um, screen is back in. I'll pop that in just now. And what's happened now, a little disaster, is that the, um, the clutch mechanism has dropped out. So probably you might be unlucky as well. <laughs> now we've got to put that back in. So having consulted the manual, this um, little brake goes on this little shaft here. Now on this little shaft there's a little line, I don't know if you can see it there, and that lines up with a little dot. Get in focus on there, which you can just see up there. So the line the shaft. That's one too far. That's good. So that goes on there. And it appears that this swingy dangly bit, actually, that goes in around there and that sits in there like that. Which is uh, a bit loose. Now, the operating mechanism which stayed in there, which should have actually come out by the looks of it. The springy thing goes on there with the balls. Now how I line all this up when I put the cover back on is as your guess is as good as mine. But hopefully all the rest is solid. Hopefully that will do it. I get it lined up, centralised. I put it. Oh shit! I put it on the centre stand. I might have to lean it down 
If I want to lay it flat, it give me a better chance. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm ready to put the oil back in. Uh, so they're saying 0.7, so that should bring it down to the 300 mil mark on there, won't it? Uh, Yeah, it's 300 mil. So I'll check that and then we'll start it up and see how it is. Oh, I just started it. I thought I'd do it without the exhaust. Just to run it up. Okay, so I've run the engine now for a few minutes and then let it stand and now I'm just checking the oil, make sure it's uh, correct and there it's bang on, on the mark, so ideal. And that was 0.7 litres, as they say in the manual. There we go, oil change, strainer and filter done. I've put the exhaust back on, I'm just going to put the kickstart back on now in the footrest and um, then I'm going to service the other items that need doing.